There are several ways to create, copy, or migrate virtual machines to your new Google Cloud VMware Engine Private Cloud. I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, I'll show you how to deploy VMs from template and ISO image via content library. Log on to the Google Cloud VMware Engine portal and launch the vSphere client. Navigate to Content Libraries and click on the default content library that's present in your new private cloud deployment. The content library supports several types of templates that you can use as the basis for VM deployment. Let's look at a couple of different ways to get items into the library. VMware offers a container-optimized Linux distribution called Photon OS, and you can import an OVA directly into the library by using the download URL from the Photon website. You can also upload ISO images from your local machine. Be sure to use descriptive names so different versions can be introduced over time. Once the content is ready, click over to the VMs and Templates view and select the Workload VMs folder. Select New Virtual Machine from the Actions menu to open the Deployment Wizard. To create a VM that's based on the uploaded OVA, select Deploy from Template and choose the item. Next, give the new VM a name and select the Workload Resource Pool as the destination. Complete the remaining steps of the Deployment Wizard and be sure to choose the Workload Network segment that you created previously. You cannot use the default networks for workloads. They are for private cloud management functionality only. To learn how to create a new VMware NSX network for workloads, see the previous video in this series. Power on the new VM and log in through either the VMware Remote Console or the built-in web console. From there, you can verify that your VM has network connectivity and you can start setting up applications and services on your private cloud. To create a new VM and install an operating system from an ISO image, use the New Virtual Machine menu item to launch the deployment wizard. Use the default selection and proceed through the wizard. Give the VM a name and choose the Workloads resource pool as the destination. You can leave the default VM compatibility setting or change it to meet your business requirements. Choose the guest OS type and tune virtual resources as needed. Be sure to select a VMware NSX network segment that you created previously, not one of the default infrastructure networks. Configure the DVD drive to use a content library ISO file and check the box to connect during boot. Finish the wizard and select the new VM. Power it on and open a remote console. Perform the OS installation and finish by rebooting. Verify that VMware tools are properly running inside the guest for best performance and manageability of your workloads. Now you know how to deploy your first workloads into Google Cloud VMware Engine. For more guidance on configuration and workload management, check out the other videos in this series. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash vmware-engine.